Hey, what's up? It's Nick and we're here at my house on location to do a little install and testing. So in our past video, you watched us install the Z-Line OTR microwave. Now, one problem with an OTR microwave is that the suction is towards the back of your cooktop. So what do you do about the front stuff, the grease, the smoke and all that? Well, at KBiz this year in Orlando, which is the kitchen and bath industry show, I ran into a company called Microvisor. And today we are going to test and install their product. So what their product is here, it's two pieces. This is the bracket that we will be mounting to our OTR, like so, just using the factory parts and uh, replacing screws, which comes with the visor. And then the visor will just slide in. So what the visor is meant to do is guide the smoke and grease into your filters and recirculate the clean air back out into your kitchen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it. We're going to cook some greasy food and then we're gonna see what happens. All right, so you can kind of see here, there's one screw here, one screw here, and one screw down here. And this is made for a pretty much universal fit on OTR microwaves. Um, it actually, this piece here fits right into the slot up in here almost perfectly. So what we're gonna do, we'll unscrew these screws, place our bracket in and screw it back together. firmly in there and what we did was actually we didn't use the hardware it came with we just replaced uh, we reused the hardware that was our, that we pulled out from underneath our OTR and just screwed it back in and it seemed to work just fine so now we will slide in our visor and before we slide it in let's just make sure that we notice this hole here and there is one bolt that will go into here and lock this guy right into place so it won't slide out. We are locked in. It's kind of, I think it's gonna get some taking used to, especially if you're trying to look back into your back cooking area if that's what you're using. But you still have great visibility on these front ones. But you know, if it helps get the grease and the smoke and cleared and recirculated into clean air, I think it's gonna be worth it. So let's grab a pan and let's grab some uh, chicken thighs with the skin on it and see what happens. Who likes chicken skin, fried chicken skin? All right, so we're gonna get started with cooking some uh, greasy chicken thighs here. And let me tell you, there's some extra skin on there just to get it really crunchy and boiling. Um, but I have a first question for you guys that I want you to answer in the comments. Front left burner or front right burner? What gang are you part of? I'm a, I'm a front right guy and I definitely don't use the back, so we're not even gonna ask that. Who, that's, that's for boiling noodles and water. But um, yeah, front right guy. So let's get started. And uh, if you're asking, what kind of range is this that you have here? This is actually a prototype that I've been testing out for Z-Line and it's their 30 inch induction standing range. And um, so far so good, I really like it. And it's, apparently they're supposed to be coming out this year uh, in 2022. So look, be on the lookout for that. But back to the microvisor, here we go. We're gonna put some oil in this pan, turn our heat on. Look at this, some nice lemon garlic herb seasoning, some salt and pepper. Brother Matt and I are gonna be eating good for lunch today. I don't want to mess up my new appliance educator shirt, so I'll be sure to put on our new appliance educator apron. And you can find this in our merch store online. Check out the website, appliance-educator.com. All right, so let's get the fan on. Let's 
Let's start this up. So automatically, you start to see the smoke hit this, and it is getting geared more towards the vents itself. Um, a little coming off still, but you know, not as much as I would without this guy. And it's gonna keep my microwave nice and clean as well. Um, so we're not gonna get any grease splatter on the microwave itself. It should all be contained under here in the visor. Seems to be doing its job. Yeah, the only inconvenience I really see about this is, you know, I can't see the back burners, but I mean, if I'm just cooking chicken or greasy something right here, I don't, I don't really need to see the back and I still have my open burner here if I'm really, you know, if I need it for something else. Right, we're about five minutes into the chicken cooking. Yeah, it's catching. All this stuff would have otherwise been all over the front of the microwave. The microwave stays clean. Another pro tip. Clean as you go. Mark SC tip. Thank you. All right, so our chicken is done. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna turn the fan down to low so you can hear me a little better here, but Let's move this back. So, induction. Instantly cool. I can wipe that off. No problem. We'll do a video on a deep dive on what that all does and how it works. But let's get back to the microvisor here. Kept my microwave up here spotless. There's no grease, no condensation. Looks great. There is a tiny bit of condensation grease buildup on the top here of the microvisor. Nothing I can't just wipe away here. And also, the great thing about this is if you don't want to look at this all the time, it's one screw underneath that holds it in. Unscrew that, pull it out, throw it in the dishwasher, and you know, put it in your cabinet. It will fit nicely up in this cabinet because this cabinet is the same width as the microwave all the way down. So you should have a place to store it if you have an OTR either way. And I'm gonna give this guy a win here. Uh, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna keep using it. If anything else happens, I'll let you know, but it's a pretty basic design. It's stainless steel, very easy to clean. You shouldn't have any rust issues with it being in your kitchen. Um, so go ahead and check it out. We got a link in the comments uh, or a link in the description to purchase one of these yourself. Uh, you can probably find it in our web store as well as this new merch. So if you like this video, leave us a, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment if you wanna see more of this microvisor or anything else that we do. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Good boy, Rocco, you did a good job. I'm gonna give you a treat because you did a good job.